Hello guys, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about actual functional movement. We talk a lot about functional movement on this channel because I spend a lot of time in the high country or on farms actually working. Not a lot of people do that. Take these things off too. Otherwise, you probably see the glare. So, good pair of cowboy gloves. I talk a lot about how deadlifts aren't that great because it's a straight line and how I never encounter straight lines in the real world. I encounter movements like this, where I grab something and I move it to the other side. And the lower it gets, the more I am deadlifting, reaching out, picking up, and pushing over. And we will do this for as long as it's required. We're gonna fill up an entire trailer doing this movement. What we are not doing is deadlifting, turning around, and doing that. You can do that, it just takes forever. Real movement that you do is fast and efficient. And it is a deadlift on a rotation all the way down. Pick it up any way you can, an odd object, and move it from side to side. On the next round, we would face the other way. So right now I am moving from right to left, on the next load, I will move from left to right. And the weights are totally variable, but they go up to about 100 pounds on what we're doing. So think about this movement, hamstring mobility, reach all the way down, pick up, rotate, and reach. Boy, the elevation's high up here. We'll show you the next version as we unload this and stack it in the truck. So we're back, we have moved a couple hundred yards through the forest. Equipment makes this easier. When we did this in the winter, there were three feet of snow and we didn't have any gear. So we just had to take all of this and huck it out through a couple hundred yards of forest in the elevation in snow. That was very entertaining. It was a very long day. Uh, the way we accomplished that is we picked them up and we threw them. And we did that a couple hundred times in one day to get back to the truck. But same thing, load, unload. So we loaded it, now we are unloading it. We are moving. As the stack goes down, the elevation changes. Every move is a different move. As far as I have to reach is as far as I have to reach. Your back needs to be strong enough to do all of these movements and then extend out away from your body. You will notice in my training, and in my videos, we do a lot of things like front flag presses with clubs, which do not exist in the gym. In the gym, it would be a bench press, but in reality, it is a rotated press. And your core, your abs, and everything has to be able to support that type of load. Ugh. If you can't support that type of load, you get hurt. There's a reason farm boys used to be super strong. I'm gonna make a historical aside here. Farm boys used to play football and they were super strong. Same thing with hockey players and everything else. The farm guys were always stronger than the city guys because this is the type of movement that they would do. Submaximal rotating load at odd angles. If you work like this and then you barbell on top of it and practice a sport, it was an excellent, excellent, excellent strategy to be incredibly strong. That strategy doesn't work so much anymore, just barbelling for people who live in the city because they aren't doing this type of supplemental movement in their daily life. They might pick up bags, walk to the grocery store, walk home, which our farmers carry, but they're not doing this type of thing. You need to have hamstring mobility to get you all the way down to the ground with straight legs and all the way back up at all these rotations. This is the reason kettlebells and clubs are extremely good for actually being healthy. This is what your body is meant to do. These movements are not meant to hurt you. We only get hurt doing them in the modern world because we don't do them and we don't train them. We train in straight lines, which are not real. There are no straight lines out here in the real world, none. Nothing is flat, nothing is level. All the surfaces are crazy. No step is ever the same. I don't know what we got overhead here, but it's not a drone. Maybe it's an old RC plane. Is it an RC plane? Well, somebody's got a home-built flyer up here and they're flying. Pretty high for that. 
high elevation up here, thin air. Uh, but these movements exist in the real world. Do not be afraid to train these movements. In the gym, these are called poisonous movements. People who tell you not to do these movements have never done real work in their life. People who work for a living know that these movements exist and we build our training programs around them so that we can be healthy. You should not be in pain from doing normal work. You should be able to do stuff like this for eight to 12 hours a day without break. Train properly to do the right thing. Maybe we'll make a video showing an actual kettlebell drill for this. Tomorrow, it's called a load unload. There's a straight line load unload and there's a rotation load unload for varying heights. We'll use a pickup truck to do it because that's how you do it in the real world, but we can change it in a bunch of different ways. This has been Mark Wildman. Do real movements because they simulate real stuff.